Bishop Paul went in that box. Get it, Bishop! I mean, not Ball, his stuffed animal. Get Bullwinkle! Go get Bullwinkle! Go get him! Where he at? Where is he? Go get Bullwinkle! Go get him! <laughs> you see it. Get it, Bishop! If Go you see it, Winkle. get it! Get him out the box! Get him, Minta! Get him now! Get him now! Boy, we go crying. You hear him? <sighs> Boy, we go. <laughs> he like. Bishop, you're a scaredy cat. Get him out the box. He said, no. What do you mean, no? Get him out the box. Get him out, Bishop. Get him, Bishop. Go ahead and get it out the box for him. I don't know why he act like he's scared to get it out the box. What do you thought was in the box? Bishop, you all bark. You all bark. Bishop, you okay, we can ready to watch Mary. No, you're not the killer I thought you was. No, you all bark. Scaredy cat. Okay, I'm turning Mary back on. Bishop Paul went in that box. Get it, Bishop! I mean, not Ball, his stuffed animal. Get Bullwinkle. Go get Bullwinkle. Go get him. Where he at? Where is he? Go get Bullwinkle. Go get him. <laughs> you see it. Get it, Bishop. If Go you see it, Winkle. get it. Get him out the box. Get him, Minta. Get him now. Get him now. Boy, we go crying. You hear him? <sighs> Boy, we go. <laughs> he like. Bishop, you're a scaredy cat. Get him out the box. He said, no. What do you mean, no? What's up, fam? Welcome to Unscripted to the T. It's your girl. I just thought since I went grocery shopping that I'd do a haul. I haven't done a haul in a while. So I thought I'd do a haul for y'all. Y'all like my hair? Hang on, let me show y'all. So I got some color in my hair just on the top for the summertime. Yesterday when I went to go get my hair done. Y'all like it? Y'all feeling it? So yeah, it's like a... It's like a rust color, like a cinnamon color type color. So anyway, I thought it was burgundy at first. I was like, wait a minute. I have burgundy hair, but it's like a rust color. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all this haul that I did. Then I got to get off of here because I need to wash these dishes. Y'all know it wouldn't be an uh, unscripted to the T video. Y'all know it's all low. If, hold on, All right, I'm back. It wouldn't be an unscripted video is what I was going to say if I didn't have dishes in the sink. I came back and it was all these dishes in the sink. But me and babe was tired last night and really and truly after I finished watching Mary. Y'all watch Mary my life. When I say I love Mary, I have always loved Mary J. Blige since I was in high school. And I'm telling you, I still got mad love for Mary. She is the realest and the baddest. Um, and I just love her. I love her music. I love her spirit. I love the energy, energy that she brings when she does her performances. And I like the fact, fact that she don't care really what nobody think about her. She gonna be her. She don't try to copy off of nobody. Mary is Mary. 
and from her dance to her gear to where how she wear her hair and she got mad flavor y'all wardrobe is fire okay so i just love my girl anyway let me go ahead and do this haul real quick because i got some things to do and um flies that came up in here so we got to kill these flies i don't even own a fly squatter that's how much i don't be having flies in my house but i'm about to get rid of them today bishop you ain't want to show the people that you got a haircut yesterday bishop is at a new uh establishment i love it um so far they did him so good bishop hadn't been there in a little bit and so Bishop had a few mats underneath him, which he never, ever has because I take him to go get bathed and groomed religiously every six weeks. And from me not feeling well to them being overbooked, we could not get him in until eight weeks. And I'm telling you, with rain and everything, Bishop got himself all matted up. Bishop, come here. Let them see how nice you look. Come here, baby. Come here. And so now my baby looking good. Come here, boo-boo. He looking good. Say hi to the fam. Say hi, everybody. I got a haircut yesterday. Man, I'm telling you, Bishop looked so bushy <laughs> yesterday. I mean, he looked like he had weighed about... 20 more pounds than what he actually weighed. People was like, oh, he got big when we'd be walking up. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's just his birth. He's the same size. Now he back to his normal look. So, but I just told the lady to cut it out because I don't want him to be in no type of pain or suffering. I'm so glad she called me, called me at work. She was like, this is the situation with Bishop. Um, you know, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't want him to suffer. It ain't his fault he didn't get on the calendar. <laughs> so I'm like, no, cut it out. It's summertime. It will grow. Don't try to comb it out. Don't hurt my baby. So, all right, y'all. So let me show y'all what I got from all these. And I absolutely love all these. Love, love, love all these. I get more from my money at all these. Okay, so I got me some chicken breast meat for kebabs. Uh, it's already diced and ready to grill. This was like $6.34 for this. You going to clean up those trash cans for me? Y'all, my son found the snake in the backyard and killed the snake. That's another thing. With all this rain we've been having, we're going to have to cut down that grass because that's why I don't like Bishop going back there and so forth because you can't see what's in that tall grass. Um, but Bear spotted it and was like, and Bear got enough sense that he's not going to go up on it. But he's going to growl and let you know about it. But I don't like him even being back there with the possibility of snakes. So we have to cut that grass today. All right, so chicken breast tenderloins here. There's a whole bunch of them in this pack here for like $6.16. Um, what else to got? Got a bag of shrimp here. This is a two pound, two pound, two pound family bag here, and this is the extra jumbo one. So this was like thirteen dollars for the bag because there's an extra jumbo. Of course, they're cheaper, but I like the big ones because when you cook them down, they're gonna get smaller anyway. So that's why I like to have the jumbo or the colossal. Okay, which I didn't see the Colossal. I got some more whitings. And this was like $4.34. And I just remember it just because I shopped there. But, yeah, so you get a good amount of whitings. And I bought two packs of those. I have some codfish in the freezer now. That I'll probably be making that pretty soon. Um, what else I got? Um, some broccoli froulettes, got two packs of those, one is steamable and the other is just frozen, 
I got some asparagus spares. I love me asparagus. I didn't see any fresh asparagus, but I got me two bags of these. Oh, here it is right here. Two bags of the asparagus spares. And these are steamable. Um, this is not in no particular order here. I got some Synergy Raw Kombucha. This is the Trilogy one. This one is, uh, let me tell you what the flavors are in here. This is the Kombucha Black Tea, Green Tea, Kiwi Juice, Raspberry Juice, Lemon Juice, and Fresh Pressed Ginger Juice. And that's this one right here. And I like this one, the Synergy one. These are very good for you. And then I'm going to try this other one. This is a Cosmic Cranberry. Uh, and this has the Kombucha Culture Black Tea, Green Tea, Kiwi Juice, Cranberry Juice. And um, yeah, so I like that. And it's unsweetened cranberry juice. So this is very good for you, these drinks here. So I like the kombuchas. All right, moving right along. Got some more Texas Pete hot sauce because we were running low. I think we have Louisiana, but uh, with all this fish, I like to get some hot sauce. Got some virgin EOO here. This is trash. Um, I bought this to put on my table because I bought that carousel. So this is the grinder uh, stone mill. This is a sea salt. And then this is the black peppercorn. Which I... Okay, but you got water, uh, the dish liquid to put inside. Trash cans need to be cleaned up. And clean it with the hose. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is uh, these I put on here. I have the salt shakers, but I kind of like these a little bit better. Um, I use this when I'm cooking. And I sprinkle it, the sea salt in there, but I don't like people's fingers in this. So, you got that right there to put on the table. Hot sauce, I think that's a hot sauce. I got Bishop Two Types of Treats here. He's so finicky, he only likes the one. But I don't know unless I try. This is grain and gluten-free. This is the super chicken jerky. I had a feeling that he would like this. It is chicken with blueberries and pears. Got to keep my baby healthy as well. And Bear liked it too, so I gave Bear one for finding that snake for me. And then this right here, this is Pure B. Uh, brand it is uh, heart to trail heart to tail excuse me these are dog cheat treats bishop really didn't care for them these are grain free there's no corn wheat or soy it is beef and cheddar but he didn't eat i put one down and he sniffed it i guess it don't smell like nothing he threw it down like i don't want this <laughs> um so this has no grains or filters no sulfuric acid, no potassium chloride, no potassium sorbate, you know, no titanium dioxide. So this is just beef, peas, potatoes, lentils, ground flax, flax seed, and um, cheddar cheese. Bishop, what are you doing? Um, so, so if you don't want these, I'm going to give it a band. But they're a little bite-sized, so I thought that he would like them for nice little snacks when he come back from going to the bathroom and so forth. But, oh, well. Uh, I got me some cheese because I'm going to make some macaroni, baked macaroni and cheese this weekend. My son is home, y'all. My youngest son is here from, um, who's in the military. So he's here with us for a few weeks. Right now, he's visiting with his girlfriend, but he'll be home later on today. So, I got some things anyway that I need to go grocery shopping, but some stuff, you know, that I'm going to make. So, I'm going to make some baked macaroni and cheese. Y'all know how I do. If you haven't watched my video, 
you better go ahead and watch it. It's like uh, close to 200 views on that one when I'm just showing the skills, schooling y'all on some baked macaroni and cheese. So, as y'all know, I put in there my sharp cheese. I'm not going to make such a big pan like I do for Thanksgiving, of course, but I got the sharp cheese. I like the finely shredded cheese. I used to cut up the block one. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Um, so I got the one that's already shredded. And I got some Gouda cheese to put inside of it. Because that's what you got to do. Um, I already got uh, canned milk, so I'm not worried about that. Strawberry kiwi drink. I like that. I like this brand. I've had it quite a few times from there. And I also like that guava mango. Um, for those in my family who don't drink um, almond milk, I got a small 2% carton of milk. And then here is, uh, I'm going to try this. This is iced coffee, sweet and creamy um, mocha. Iced coffee. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try some now. I'm going to try some now. See what it tastes like. Hang on, y'all. Let's see what, what she tastes been like. I woke up like this. Okay. Y'all. All right, here it is. I love me some iced coffee, but I never had this brand. I always buy a Starbucks brand. Let me see. I always got to smell stuff. Oh, it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this was like $2 and... 35 or $2.39, something like that. I'll put that in the refrigerator so that stay nice and cold because I love it cold. All right. Where's my trash cans at? Okay. Hey, can you call dad and tell dad to pick up two fly swatters on his way home from work? You hear me, King? And then I got everything but the bagel seasoning. I've been hearing everybody talk about this so much. So I said, let me try this and see if I like it. It has some sesame seed, sea salt, minced garlic, minced onion, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds. Mmm. I didn't pass the drug test and got poppy seeds up in this show. Go ahead and go. I didn't say bring that in here. I said, tell daddy, keep them out there so they could dry. I said, tell daddy just to pick up two fly swatters from the Dollar Tree. So you still going to the uh, cookout or what? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to all the Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Y'all know it's unscripted. Man, many people, professionally, uh, bloggers would have turned up the camera and came back. But not your girl. So everything, uh, bagel seasoning. So I'm going to try it and see what it's like. I may put it on my salad. I bought some bagels. I may put it, put it on my bagel and see what all the fuss is about. But I've seen people talk about this uh, on their videos. And I'm going to try it out and see. Speaking of my baby. So last night, y'all, and I'm put a picture on here of this um, hibachi that I had. Actually, it was teriyaki salmon, and it had these baby carrots, and it had fresh vegetables, mixed vegetables, and it had broccoli and spinach. I mean, not broccoli. Broccoli, no, broccoli and, <laughs> Bishop, what you want? Broccoli, zucchini, and squash, and mushrooms. So, how about I'm going to recreate that. And Bishop likes carrots. He already knows this is carrots. He see the picture. My baby is Simone. And I'm going to give him some carrots. Because I'm telling you, I couldn't have what eat my carrots in my um my food. Without Bishop sitting up there in my face. This was like 45 cents there. Um, if you watch my video about me going to uh, Nana Morrison's Soul Food Cafe in uh, Charlotte. 
on Father's Day weekend. Go back and watch that. I'm telling you, when I said that food was good, that's another reason why I had fish on my mind. But I've gone back to just eating fish and chicken. Um, and like I'll eat maybe plant-based burgers every now and then, but really like fish and chicken, my salads and stuff like that. Um, and really that's it. I'm probably going to even cut out my turkey. I've been cut out beef, but every now and then I was buying me like, a uh, beef cheeseburger from McDonald's or I would have a taste and I would get something like that and I got to cut it out because it's not good for me. It, you know, it might be all right for you, for you, but for me and my body and everybody's different, it's not good for me. Okay. I bought me some black eyed peas. I said all that to say that because I had black eyed peas, collard greens, and fish. So I bought me some black eyed peas. I probably got some in the pantry. But just in case I didn't, I wanted to get me one can. And then pink salmon. Man, all of these pink salmon is so much cheaper. It's $2 and change for a wild Alaskan pink salmon. I promise you, this is every bit of $5, $6 at Walmart. I'm just saying. For the same size can. So I got me two cans of the pink salmon. Why don't you go in my drink? Okay, then I got, this is what I've been drinking my water out of, y'all. I've been increasing my water even more. I'm not playing with that devil. I'm not playing with him at all. Okay, I got some California Moscata. Uh, Winking Owl, I've never had this brand before. Very inexpensive. It might be inexpensive because it maybe don't taste good or it might be a good deal. But you never know until you try. This was like two dollars and thirty-five cents for the Moscato, and then um, the peach Moscato by Mass Mill. Um, I'm going to try this brand, uh, even though I know I like pink Moscato. I'm a Moscato girl. Moscato and rum. <laughs> I like that rum and Red Bull. Now, I don't drink nobody Red Bull, but peach, uh, peach Moscato. A real Red Bull probably had my heart jumping up my chest. Okay, and then I got the pink Moscato. I thought I had bought red too, but I didn't. And this has notes of nectarine and raspberry. And this was a four dollars and some change. So I got me some little bit of wine to sip on, just to chill and relax. Um what else, y'all? Oh, as the drinky drinks. So also, this is just like simply lemonade. So I got some lemonade, that cool, refreshing drink, and there's that almond that I told you about, almond milk. Okay, let me turn y'all around this way. But you what you staring at? You wondering who I'm talking to? I think he I think he actually be wondering who is mommy talking to when she does these videos because I don't see anybody in here that I need to bark at, but she's steady talking to somebody. <laughs> so these were really small, but this is a 22 loads of Tide. It's two in one, powerful detergent and fresh scent. So I got this. I like Tide and I like Gang. My husband, when he goes shopping, he'll get this sometimes, but most of the time he'll get whoever's on sale. But I like Tied and Game. $2. So I bought two. This one has the Oxy Clean in it. Um, I like this. This does 20. I don't know why that does 22 and this does 20. I don't make no sense. Um, and then Downy. Downy, uh, Downy uh, Fabric Softener is my favorite. I love it, love it, love it. 60 loads. It's like $3 and some change at all these. I'm pretty sure it's more other places. Um, what else? It's moving around along, moving around along. Over here at the table. So I got some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is good for high heat cooking. So whenever you see an oil, if it says it has 
high heat cooking, that means that it is good for frying, okay? Frying, sauteing. So make sure you're picking up your right oils because some oils are for baking, some oils are for marinating, but you got to make sure you're picking up your right oils. And this is 100% grape seed oil. It's non-GMO. Um, and this one is uh, by Simply Nature. So you want to make sure that you're not picking up crap. Um, this also is olive oil cooking spray. A lot of times I will use a cooking spray um, to cook my food in. And then here is some non-Greek, Greek, non-fat Greek, non Greek yogurt. This is vanilla. And I use this for my smoothies. I use it to eat with cut up fruit, with some granola, um, nuts. I got some honey granola nuts. I'm telling y'all, sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds on it. Some flax seeds, you're good to go. Some are more organic tomato ketchup. I cannot speak today. We had spaghetti. My husband made some spaghetti. It was so good, y'all. He made spaghetti with um, plant-based um, meatballs that I bought. Plant-based meatballs that I bought. And then he cut up some turkey uh, kielbasa um, and put it in there with the spaghetti and made some spaghetti. So now I need some more spaghetti. This is organic spaghetti. I bought two boxes of that. And then this is the elbow macaroni, just in case I didn't have any, because I didn't do a shopping list. I just walked Bishop, slipped on my flip-flops, and went to go to the supermarket so I can get it over and done with. Elbow macaroni for my macaroni this weekend. And then I had a taste for some banana nut bread. So I'm going to make some from here. So I'm being lazy. I know how to make a homemade, but I'm just, I'm not in the mood for all that. Um, also, another good thing to cook your food in, y'all, is uh, stock. So I know I need some more of that. Also, I got some pita crackers. I love to eat tuna fish on this. Um, a lot of times I put like a little spread or something on here. Some spinach and um, artichoke dip on here. Uh, this is just sea salt crackers here. And they're 100 mill 135 milligrams of salt. So yeah, not much at all. And um, so vegetable stock and chicken stock. Y'all get up on it. Get up on it. When I say get up on it, <laughs> get up on this. This is good to cook your food in, okay? It gives it flavor, and sometimes it's better than using oils. So just a little bit of this to saute your vegetables in. I'm telling you, it will taste so good. You don't have to just use this for soup, okay? Um, you can use this for to cook in. I'm telling you. It works. I see somebody on a YouTube page. Uh, give that as a little thing. And I went to try it. And I have not been disappointed. Um, also, I mentioned about some cheeses. Here goes some more of my cheeses here. Um, my husband, honey, he loves these smoked oysters. Uh, so I got him some smoked oysters cooked in cottonseed oil. I got me some vegan mozzarella cheese. A lot of times I like to just spread some cheese on stuff. And it's good for me to use the vegan cheese. Um, also for the house, I bought some Swiss cheese. Some provolone cheese. And I got some cauliflower, garlic, herb, rice here. In the bag, it's only 70 um, milligrams of sodium. Watch your salt, y'all. Watch your salt. They kept trying to tell me, oh, watch my salt, watch my salt. And I'm like, y'all don't understand. I don't eat a lot of foods with salt. I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat processed foods, really. Um, so I know it's probably me eating out more often than I usually do. That's where's the, the, you know, the hidden salt. 
was going to say unhidden, hidden salt. And so when you are having outside food and other people are cooking it, you don't know how they're preparing it. And I was just trying to figure out what is the problem? Why is my pressure high? What is going on? And I realized I have not been packing lunch, y'all. And I've been buying a lot of outside food. And mainly it was because I didn't feel well. So I was tired. But if you have it in your house, prepare it. Because I'm telling you, you're going to pay for it when you buy that food from outside. Because you don't know what necessarily it is that is or how it's prepared. Um, this is my other bag of Gouda cheese. I knew I had more than one thing of Gouda cheese from a macaroni. Um, so these y'all were on sale. They were... Uh, I think 89 or 99 cents for three packs of zucchini. So I got two packs. Because trust me, that's going to go fast. I got a bag of spinach. I got a container of spring mix for my salad. I love this kind here. Okay, so I got some fresh strawberries and there were cucumbers for the salad. They were like 55 cents each. Oh, and then I don't I'm not buying processed um sandwich meat. So this um turkey, honey turkey chicken breast, I mean honey turkey breast, and then here's some classic oven breast. Now I'm going to tell you the honey will always have more salt than the classic most of the time. But it's 13 grams of protein and one, 12 in this one. It has sea salt in it, vinegar, but I try to get this because it's fresher. It's like carving it from the turkey. It might be a little bit more because they're $2.99 a pack. But when you get that big slab of uh, cold cuts, I'm telling you, it's, it's processed. And it's full of salt. All right. So we got some butter here. So I bought the sweet cream unsalted butter. I'm going to try this and see how this is. Um, and then butter for... The house. Hang on, y'all. It's getting full over there. And then I got some teriyaki Asian uh, soy sauce. Well, Asian sauce, not soy sauce. I bought this one here. I'm going to try this brand and see how it is. That salmon that I had was so, so good. Y'all, oh, this is Bishop's next appointment, July 23rd. I'm going to put that up. Uh, I'm going to try this because I, everybody is saying that avocado is good for you. I don't particularly like avocado just open, but I'm going to try the avocado ranch dressing. It has has avocados and fresh herbs and garlic. So let me try this. The sodium on here is only 135 milligrams of salt. Okay. So let me try that. And then this here, y'all, I love. This is from Olive Garden. This is their signature um, Italian dressing. I like this. Y'all know I have not been able to find my Vidalia onion uh, salad dressing. I'm real upset about that. But I bought this here so I can eat my salads. And I bought three cans of tuna. And my son, um, who got a degree in kinesiology, and he used to be a fitness uh, instructor, told me to make sure that I get my tuna fish in water, not oil. So I am got some tuna, because tuna is good for you. But you want to make sure you get it in the water, not the oil. Um, next, because y'all know, if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I love mushrooms. So I bought some Baby Bella mushrooms. I have some Portabella mushrooms. There's four in here. It's like four for like a dollar fifty. 
and then um, some white mushrooms. And these were like $1.29 for the white mushrooms. And then, because they look so doggone good and I haven't had them in a while, uh, I got some peaches, two bags of peaches here. Um, so hopefully these are some good peaches. They look good. Don't they look good? Look at them. Look how good they look. Which are, what's your favorite? Peaches or nectarines? I love them both. But peaches, there's something about peaches. Also, my son already cracked it, so I'm going to have to take this upstairs and put it in my nightstand. Some cashew uh, halves and pieces with sea salt. I like to get the sea salt. I was looking for honey cashew, but they did not have any. Um, and then I got some organic uh, sugar cane sugar that I like to use. And then I was out of this, so when I'm going to make my carrots, I bought some organic light brown sugar as well. Moving right along. So I also bought some uh, mandarins. Avery loves these. He, he, he can tear these up. Him and my husband will sit there. They're so small, you don't realize how many you've eaten. And then I bought some more of these shots. So this is an elderberry shot. This is a vitamin C shot and turmeric shot. They're like $1.89. I think um, I have, I thought I had some more in here, but Woody Man drank it. Uh, he drank one. I got one left in my pan, my, my cabinet here. Okay, so the ginger shot. So this is the ginger shot. Now, I don't really care for these, but I'm telling you, you just got to chase it with some juice because they're good. This is by Vita Life. Um, it's a kick in ginger, and it has coconut water, pineapple juice, ginger juice, lemon juice, and ground cayenne. And these are good. I'm telling you, they're good for you. Um, also, and you can make them on your own, actually, if you have time. This is uh, the turmeric. It has coconut water, pineapple juice, turmeric lemon juice, and ground black pepper. Then the vitamin shot has, um, let's see, this helps with your immune um, health, your immune system, and echinacea and all that in here. And this has vitamin C, it has areola cherry echinacea in here, and the vitamin C, orange, pineapple, organic water, I mean, excuse me, coconut water. Yeah, so that's for the vitamin C shot. And then the elderberry, what's in it is pomegranate, blueberry, ginger, acerole, cherry, elderberry, and some other kind of berry. This is good for daily wellness. This is to keep calm. This is the berry elderberry and I take an elderberry um, gummy pills anyway I take those those are good to help you with colds fight off colds and stuff if anytime you have anything going on with you as far as immune wise you want to make sure you take those things and you want to eat healthy but even if you don't it's good for you now I give it to my husband and he ain't got a daggone thing wrong with him okay paper towel it's not name brand, but it's paper towel. <laughs> My husband might have a fit because we always buy name brand toilet tissue, but we were out. And how about your girl did not want to go to two places? This is 12 rolls of toilet tissue, ultra soft, septic safe. Okay. And that was like $9. What else is over here? Oh, I love plantain. So I bought some plantain potato chips and I looked at the salt y'all because sometimes plantains can be salty but this particular brand uh, is kosher, gluten free, cholesterol free, zero trans fat and this is vegan. So they only have 50 milligrams of salt. So 
that's my way of eating that and not feeling like, oh, I can't have something. Okay. Also, I like to wrap up. Um, I don't really like my sandwiches on bread anymore. Um, once in a blue moon, I'll do it, but I'm not really all that crazy about it. But also, you see how they got the wraps here. You can do the chicken tenders like I have wrapped up in here. Um, or you can do fish tacos. But this is uh, by Fit Active. Um, and this is low-carb tortillas. And there are four grams of carbs in here. There's eight in here. Um, and so, yeah, so I said I'm going to buy these here because I love to do a wrap or bean wrap with... Um, Vegetables and some of my cheese in there. Oh, God, that'd be so good. This, I love this. <laughs> I've been eating these Danish butter cookies since I was a little girl. I just love them. They don't have a whole lot of salt in it. 45 milligrams of salt. So, 2 grams of protein. Not a lot of protein, but these are cookies, okay? However, if you have a wheat um, sensitivity, you don't want to eat these because it has wheat and it has hazelnuts, pecans, or pecans, however you say it, and um, some people say pecans, some people say pecans, and macadamia nuts in it, and I love all of that. Um, and then also, this reminds me of the Girl Scout cookies here. I got some caramel coconut fudge cookies. They were like a dollar. Their cookies are so cheap. I got some Greek yogurt protein chew bars um, to try out. This is um, how many is in here? Five. Five of them in there. Let's just try them out, see how I like it. I'm almost at the end of the haul, y'all. Got some fresh bagels here. Because I told you I'm going to do the nothing but the bagel. I may put a. Um, a vegan sausage or something on there with that my egg and sprinkle it up. Mm. Got some hand soap. Hand soap was like 95 cents. I bought two of those. Got some Dawn dish liquid because I was completely out of dish liquid. And didn't have any Tylenols. So I got some Tylenols to have up in here because I was told I cannot have any ibuprofen, Motrin, um, any Aleve. I have to have Tylenol. Um, this right here, I got some razor blades because I was out of my razor blades here. So this is good for to shave your legs and your underarms, um, which I'm going to get um, the laser surgery to get that. So I don't have to shave my underneath my arms and stuff anymore. I'm just so sick of it. I never let it grow, but I hate doing it. I do it so often because before you know, there's little hairs there. And I don't like, I like to be completely bald. Um, so I'm just going to go with the laser. Uh, put uh, disinfectant wipes. This is a travel pack. It's 30 of them in here. But I bought two packs. Um, it's lemon scent. They were like a dollar and some change. I want to say a dollar eighty-five for these. Yeah, I think I'm spot on with that. A dollar eighty-five for these. And I bought two packs. I like to wipe down my faucets. I like to wipe down my kitchen handles, doorknobs, and so forth. So you don't really got to be traveling. But I had all of that, y'all, in my bags. I bring all my little Aldi bags with me when I go to Aldi's because you know. They don't have any bags. Well, you got to buy the bags. Oh, but let me tell y'all this last thing. And I feel like I flew through that. But like I said, I got a lot to do. And um, we have a cookout that we were invited to. Uh, my husband's cousin graduated from college. And so they're having a cookout in Statesville. I may or may not vlog out there. But... Knowing me, I probably will turn on the camera a little bit just so y'all can see. Um, but she said rain or shine that they were having it. And so that's like two hours from now. But we're not going to be there at 2 o'clock. Because hubby is still at work. And um, my son is coming 
from Charlotte. I don't know. He might just meet us there because he's halfway there anyway. Um, and he went to the mall. And I got some stuff that I need to do here. So, yeah. So, that's it for the haul. I'm going to sit here and sip on my mocha, my iced coffee mocha. I need to put that in there. Oh, and I bought this. This is for Avery. I had to hurry up and put this in the freezer because I didn't want it to go bad. Some Italian ices, y'all. Y'all remember eating these when y'all were younger? I'm telling y'all, growing up in Brooklyn, New York, we would go and get these ices. They came in a green and yellow um, cup. And they had the little wooden spoon. Y'all remember that? And I'm telling you, you just sit there and you scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. And then you flip it over and it have that, that juicy, icy stuff all on the bottom of it. So I hope these are as good as that. This is lemon and cherry. But my favorite used to be um, pineapple and the cherry um, and the blue one. Oh, my gosh. And then I got these because I absolutely love these. This is cheaper than getting the Dole Fruit Bars. And I'm telling you, they taste just as good for half the price. This is out. Is it Outshine? Yeah, Outshine Fruit Bars. And I love the strawberry. Um, so, yeah, so I got these. I might have to hide these in the garage. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm going to try to go to my mom's probably tomorrow because I need to take her some things and I still need to. Um, that Nobody. Thank you. visiting and I kept forgetting to tell her to take this to So I gotta go to her house. I gotta stop by my brother's house and give him his one free gift that I didn't get a chance to give him. Uh, sorry about that, y'all. I can't stand these uh, spam calls. And um, what else I have to do? I get in contact with my sister because my sister moved into a new apartment. So I need to holler at her. And um, I said I wanted to get her a nice housewarming gift. So yeah, but that's it for now, y'all. Your girl energy is back up. God is good. Yes. And I'm just going to keep going up, up from here. Up, 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 right? When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. Then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. I'll be stuck on the up. All right, y'all. So, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button. And join the squad. And I will probably see y'all a little later on. At the fam's house, y'all, it's going to be a party. They know how to party. They know how to have a good time. And we all do for one. So I love you. Hope you're enjoying life. I hope you're giving God the praise and peace. Remember to keep it unscripted. Definitely keep it unfiltered because that's the way life's supposed to be. I will catch y'all on the next vloggy blog. Peace. I'm out.